What's cracking guys? Welcome to another episode of the Honda Recap. We got a bunch of stuff to cover. Christina got a brand new paint job and I got some other good news. Let's get started. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Honda Recap. If this is your first episode, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell so you're notified every Monday night at 8 when this show airs. I'm basically trying to go over all the stuff that's going on in the Honda YouTube universe and try to condense it all into one cool recap. And that is, like I said, every Monday night at 8 o'clock. All right, let's kick this off with Zosh. It's been long awaited that this guy has been getting his car ready for paint. It is now out and the car looks amazing. I was talking with him the day he got his car and he was trying to rush home so that he had enough daylight to get the hood on, the skirt, he tried to get the spoiler on and all the other goodies that he had painted so that he would still have enough time and daylight to make a video for you and it came out great, dude. It's been a crazy three or four years in a build and I'm so happy that you've got to the point now where your car is semi-finished or at least a good portion finished. I know things are never finished, but if you haven't seen the paint on his car and you haven't seen the quality of work that he's put in, absolutely check out his latest video. He does a really awesome walk around and I can't wait to see what you have next for this vehicle. Vasila Garage, this guy has definitely turned up his upload schedule. He's been coming out with a video every single day like the rest of the other guys that have been trying to really push out content. So much has happened to the car besides the firewall going in. I always tell you follow this guy on Instagram because his Instagram live is always up to date. Uh, right now, if you're following on YouTube, you will see that the firewall is getting put in. He's showing you exactly how to do it from left-hand drive to right-hand drive, what markers to look for, what panels you have to drill out and weld back in, and he's very detailed about it. If you follow him on Instagram, though, you do know that he's been meticulously sanding and painting the car. I believe the interior is also painted. He just did the body, and there's so much more going on in the build. The shell is taking most of the time. I'm pretty sure he's going to be able to knock out the motor and the suspension and get all all the add-ons actually put onto the car. The bodywork though was taking a very long time because he's trying to hit a high quality bar. So like I said, check out his latest videos if you're trying to learn how to build a right-hand drive K24 Integra and follow him on Instagram if you want to see the most up-to-date footage of where he's at with the car. Following that, we got La Tommy Law. This guy has been on a tirade with videos. You know that in the cherry on top he has a new seat for his car i won't really talk about it i want you to go check it out and see how great it looks in his car and he also upgraded his front brakes with spoon calipers it looks amazing everyone wants that blue caliper right in their front wheel especially if it's behind a te showing you how to install it showing you what it looks like in his fresh car go ahead and check that out i love everything you do to your car man keep it up all right, back at it with the engine build, we got Deadbeat Garage. If you've noticed, this guy has been working on his EF for a very long time, and he's also got Mad Max, his other vehicle that he's been working on. But after I think everything that's been going on, I think Honda, Honda Street Garage working on an EF and Young Static working on his EF, this guy's decided, you know what? It's time to step it up. And he brought out his B18C5. He's getting it ready. Got it cleaned up. I believe he's going to paint it. And over the past couple days, he's been putting the wiring harness back into the shell. This is going to be a crazy build. I didn't know that was the motor you had just sitting on deck, dude. This thing is going to rip and look great doing it. So if you want to see some more great EF content, definitely check out Deadbeat Garage. He has so many videos. Everything he's done has been with his own two hands down to the paint. It's going to be a legit ride. All right, back up to the play. We got Hunter Toon, another guy that's been delivering content on the daily. He's been loving his EK Coupe. As of recently, he got full coils. He got new wheels. He's got a bunch of other stuff that he's doing to the car. He's been running to the junkyard slash pick and pull, got a new cluster, really fixing the car up from where he got it. I'm really interested to see what motor he's going to choose. I know he's not really going to stick around too long with that D16 that he's got in there. Hunter's known for B-Series. He actually did a good talk on why he enjoys the B-Series over any other chassis. I'm sorry, any other engine so i know a b series is coming which one i don't know but if it's anything like a crx it's going to be fast and i really think he's going to want to boost this one i'm really happy you've put a bunch of progress in that car and you're also doing a lot of customer cars as well so it's a good mix of content and i like the fact that you're just still dedicating yourself down to honda following that we got chris sadowski the old favorite he's got a bunch of parts on the way i think he also got a pressure plate and clutch he's getting things set up 
for the K swap in his DA. So like I said, if you've missed a lot, I'll give you a little quick catch up. This guy did get a K20A2 with a matching transmission for uh, steel. He's got it there at uh, Hasport. You know, he's cleaning it up. He's got a bunch of help with him down there too. So it's definitely going to happen quick. I know what he's trying to do is he's basically trying to get some funds together, get the last minute few things, and then bam, it's going to be game time. That motor will be in the car and it's going to be fast and I can't wait for that because I've been watching a lot of his old videos and he's been in that B20 world that B20 VTEC world and I think it's time that he's finally going to be like you know what I found an awesome K-series one of the best and I'm putting it in my car and man I couldn't be more stoked for you so I can't wait for that start to happen I'll definitely be watching all right next up we got young static this guy has been on fire with the h22 build budget crx drag car in his latest video he's actually doing a stage two port on the intake manifold and he's just showing you how to do it by hand he's literally sitting there with flap discs and die grinders and just shaving out all the intake manifold and all the different ports and actually showing you how to do it i'm not actually sure if this is the first time he's done it but it doesn't look like it by the amount of time and effort he's putting into the build it's pretty crazy to know that if you follow the build, you know that not too much money has actually gone into this build. And he has done everything on his own with his own two hands and shown you how to do it, even down to the wiring and painting the bay. So it's insane. The finished product is going to be crazy and yes it is totally a budget build he's done everything with his hands and it's literally nothing too too fancy he's just making it work this guy even found a way to turn a b series manifold into a h series manifold and now doesn't need headers anymore he made what he had work and just that alone is why young static is one of the most legit channels out there not to mention if he hits 20k he's gonna boost the h right now it's all na but you know what he even said he doesn't even have all the components he needs to boost the h22 but he did say the second he hits 20k that's his goal so if you're not following him definitely go hit that subscribe tell your friends because i want to see what he's gonna do if he boosts that car. I wanna see what kind of numbers he can put down. And once he takes that to the drag strip, it's gonna be crazy. Following that, we got Big Murph. This guy has been posting a lot about his hatch and also about his Integra and talking about wanting to actually sell it. And I'm really happy to announce that he chose not to actually sell it. I think he actually met up with somebody. They gave him what he was offering and he just realized that he couldn't let go of that car. And as far as I've been watching or even known him, uh, that Integra is basically what he's been about. You know, driving it on the daily, had dreams for it, started making build progress. And then he wanted a hatch and he definitely made that happen. I knew you were gonna do that but I never thought you were gonna sell the Integra and I'm super happy you kept it. Uh, take one for me, have your one good car, man. It's been, it's been great, it gets you where you need to be and I know as soon as you get your stuff lined up, that hatch is gonna come down and then it's gonna be revived in a crazy way. So I'm glad you're keeping the Integra. It's definitely a staple on your channel and it's gonna do you good. All right, next up we got VTech Academy. Brian has been out there at Hasport basically trying to show you all the different chassis that they can put the new type r engine into it in this latest video they went over the ef the da and the insight and i'm really happy to say that you know what the insight might be a completely sleeper car i know k sites have been a thing for a hot minute people have been putting k20as in them and pulling huge numbers out of it but the new type r motor seems to fit quite right and it's going to be interesting to see what he pulls off because I'm pretty sure Brian has a couple insights down at Hasport and he's going to want to put that motor in somehow. I know they also have the cool Honda crate engine because he is Hasport. So they're going to put that to use and he already has ideas on how to work on it. And I love the fact that as I watched the video, you can see the wheels turning and him pausing as the video is recording because boom, I think a switch flipped and he's like, this is this is possible. And uh, instead of talking, he actually started fabbing things up in his head. And that's that's so great because I know Hasport wants to be the first at the scene and I fully respect that. So if you guys want to check out good content and just want to see what the Type R can actually fit in, that these are definitely the videos you want to be watching. So check out VTech Academy. All right, I got here an old favorite, Honda How To. This guy started a, quite a while ago showing you how to build a D16 for Boost. The videos did really, really well and he's a really awesome dude as well. When you watch the video, it's a step-by-step -step how to build it with quality parts what his goals were and it was just really awesome to watch and interact with the guy but I know it's winter time there and things kind of started changing and he kind of went on a hiatus but now he's back 
he and his friend are gonna start building an EK hatch. So definitely check out his latest videos. He's giving you a kind of walk down about what they're planning on doing. And I think there's a B16A in that EK right now. So they're gonna be doing a little flopping between maybe a turbo D16 and a B16A. Um, just as things need to be rebuilt, these two motors in the chassis are gonna be really awesome because the EK chassis is really good and the hatch, can't complain with the hatch. So if, if you don't know about Honda how to, definitely check it out. Very informative, breaks things down, and it's gonna be really cool to see what these two guys start doing with that hatch. All right, these next two channels I actually found in the comments, and I kinda wanna talk about them for a quick minute, mainly because both these guys seem really humble, really cool, and just the videos are really, really great to watch. So first up, I wanna get a shout out to Nick Sabella. What's up guys and welcome to another video. Today we are actually starting the turbo build for Ronda, the white Civic. And uh, we are going to be chipping the ECU and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. I should also add that my ECU is an auto and my car is a manual so I need to do an auto to manual conversion on this ECU which I will also show you. <laughs> This guy's actually got a couple cars, and I love them both. I believe he's got an EJ with a huge wing, an EK coupe, and uh, another car. And he does very, very good explanations on how he does things. In his latest video, as you can see, he actually shows you how to do a VTEC conversion on your ECU and a manual, and an automatic to manual swap and in the ECU. He did do a very, very good job on camera angles and actually showing you how to desolder and solder in everything you need to do it. It was just really well done and I really appreciate that because I've looked for that in the past and you find them but they're not as good as you'd want them to be and he did a really good job. Previously before that he had a B18 that blew a head gasket and he showed you how to do that and he did it exactly the same way. Great angles, talked you through it and didn't talk your ear off. He just showed you by doing and that's uh, something I really enjoy people doing here on YouTube and he's just a really great guy when you listen to him talk and how he explains things just seems like a really down-to-earth guy and you can tell that he just he loves what he's doing and he just loves Honda for what it is so thanks for making content dude I, I hope you start uploading a lot more because I just found you and and it's gonna be cool man I want to see the progression of all your cars following that we got SP tuning <laughs> what's going on there YouTube today we're gonna be taking the Integra down to Daytona Beach about a 20-30 minute drive to get this windshield replaced. It's uh, not a huge crack, but right over here, maybe about eight inches long, and I can't run at the track like that, so we're trying to get it to run uh, on the quarter mile in Orlando Speed World this Sunday. So uh, today is Thursday, and I was able to find somebody to get the windshield changed for fairly cheap and uh, pretty fast, so we're gonna head down there. I believe this guy's in Florida. Sorry, I actually don't know your name, but like I said, I think you're a really cool dude. You have an Integra, it's boosted. If you guys love Integras and Boost, that seems to be a thing. Well, I like Boost, and Integras are starting to come around a lot more on YouTube, so that's great. I think this guy over has over 600 horsepower, and so I really wanna see what you put down on it. I think you have slicks and stuff now, but like I said, you got a cool group of friends, and that's what I really loved about this. The last video that I watched, he basically saw two or three of his friends. His Integra actually broke down twice on the road and they were right there to hook him up. They had to go get an alternator and actually just like Law Tommy Law, his uh, shift linkage actually fell out while he was driving and yep, he had to put a bolt in to get where he was going. But his friends got cool cars. Not a lot of them are crazy fancy. They're just functional and cool and you can definitely see their personality in the car and I love that because it's just a group of friends all having fun, all into the same thing. And just like Nick, super humble guy. Um, enjoy, it's a, it's a blast to watch the videos and just hear you talk about what you plan on doing with the car. So I'm super glad I found you. I hope to follow along as you keep posting so I can see what you're up to, man. I'm super glad I found your channel and thanks you guys for shouting them out in my comments from the last video. All right, that about wraps it up for the Honda recap. There's a couple people I wanna talk about next week and uh, the reason I haven't talked about them yet is because I wanna actually get a little more videos from them and I really wanna push them to post a lot more because I think there's actually some cool stuff out there that I wanna really talk about. And some of those guys are MT Garage, Boosted Black Eye, eBay Honda, Rice Flavored VTEC, Redline Bandits, and Steve Ocasio. I know a lot of people are out there like, yo, you should watch Steve Ocasio, and it's like, I do. I do watch a lot of his videos, you know, and I know he posts a lot, and I haven't brought him up, but I did talk about him a while ago, so he definitely needs to get back in the ring with the rest of the people that are po posting quite frequently, so don't think I forgot about him, and all these other channels that I just mentioned 
awesome guys, got really weird builds, and not weird in a bad way, weird because, I mean, we're talking about G23 swaps, and eBay Honda is literally a guy who's an engine builder who has a lot of other stuff that he's done, but he's showing you what you can max out with uh, the quality of eBay these days, and I know a long time ago, he didn't really want to do that, but places like Hunter Tune, Motor Nubs, and a couple other channels have really pushed the limits, and uh, I believe even Sketchy DA, you know, really pushed the limits for Nippon Racing and YCP and all these other brands that have gone, you know, they've gotten some respect out there and getting five or 600 horsepower turboed on the dyno to the wheels with these parts. So that's, that's really great to see, you know, you can definitely budget your stuff out and have fun. And, you know, as much as it says about buying quality parts and getting Eagle rods and going that route, which is totally viable, but that doesn't mean you can't have fun in the process and learn. Some of you may not want to throw down that much money and blow something. And you know what? You guys out there in the world have definitely shown that you can put two, three, four hundred dollars into your motor and push tons of power and learn something in the process. And I think that's definitely something that needs to be talked about and commended about. On that exact note, I wanted to bring out the last video that Honda Street Garage that Mark actually put out about failure. That was his last video of people that have made videos or they're working on their car and they just feel like, you know what, I can't deal with this anymore. And they literally just want to throw everything away. And everyone's literally been there. I know I've definitely been there. You know, you put your heart, your soul, your time and all your stuff into your car and stuff just keeps breaking and keeps breaking. But I guess we're just crazy because we don't ever stop. We still think about it. We still want to go out there and do stuff. And I, that's what I say. I want to push on and I want to keep telling these guys, keep making videos. You know what I mean? Like some people stop for months on end. And I know that maybe, you know, life gets in the way. But if it's your car, if you're worried about stuff breaking down and you just you feel like, I don't know, we don't even want to do this anymore. Just keep it up, man. Keep it up. Uh, things will happen. Things will get better. Hop onto all the other channels, man. Because I mean, like Mark said, we all feel that way. Even he does. He put in so much work in his EF lately, you know, and, and if he hit one snag, that was it, you know, and on that same moment, we got these guys at Refine Movement who put in months of work swapping an engine, getting it all ready, and someone sold him an engine with rod knock. He looked so disappointed in the video, but you know what? Bounced back, started working on his other car, made some progress on that, and turned a negative into a positive. And I think that's just what we have to do here in the Honda community and here on YouTube in general. Just hop onto a different channel, see what they're up to, give them some support, and they will give you some support back. So, like I said, I really want to see a lot of these guys post a lot more. And if you're out there and you feel like, oh man, like I kind of fell off, I don't really want to make videos anymore, my project this or my project that. Just watch the videos, get some support, reach out. We're all here to help each other, man. If you're stuck, there's so much knowledge out there already recorded or hit them up on Instagram. I know a lot of these guys will definitely reply to you and answer any questions that you have. So with that said, guys, hope to see you next week. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of the Honda Recap. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.